World Health Organization preparing to vote to strip the U.S. and 194 other nations of its sovereignty and give them total control of the world. On May 22nd, the World Health Organization will vote on whether or not to strip 194 countries, including the United States, of their sovereignty. As part of the World Economic Forum's Great Reset goal, the WHO is aiming to alter a treaty that would give them global control over human health. The WHO World Health Assembly will vote on this issue from May 22nd to May 28th. Countries to ensure that accurate information about international health threats is shared in a timely manner. And if it's not, to independently tell the world the truth about what is happening. The WHO failed in this basic duty the delays the WHO experience. Mag of 2024, public bitch. Health emergency cost valuable time. Fair use. Tremendous amounts of time. More time was lost in the delay it took to get a team of international experts in to examine the outbreak, which we wanted to do, which they should have done. People say this is political and Tedros, you're a technical organization, don't say it. But if it's fueling the pandemic, and that's the very reason, why wouldn't I say it? At the end of the day, we should know the root cause of the problem and try to address that. It's fueling it. The cracks between people, between parties, is fueling it. Predicts and Ascension Podcast, hate me or love me, there's no in between. All right, so the World Health Organization is definitely going to put the assembly together on May 22nd. See, people don't understand the sovereignty of these countries, our country, America. We have our own rights to do anything we want with our bodies and our minds and our souls, pretty much, right? That's what they tell us. But it seems like these past couple of years, this is not what's been going on. They've been looking for a a way in to our bodies, our records, our, our, our minds, everything. They've been looking into taking over the world, right? The World Health Organization is putting this into full steam roll. They said by this is this one in reference to a couple of my old videos, how the seventh seal is broke. The, they're working on it. This is the second seal because it's the second year of bullshit. The third year is coming even more crazy in 2023. Um, they're taking away our rights to health and um, what we, how we're going to govern our own bodies, which they already proved the fact when we when people had to get the jabs to keep their either you was going to put food on your table, get a paycheck, or or you wasn't going to receive any type of benefits, you was going to get the jab, right? So now with that being said, they're putting something in effect with the World Health Organization that's going to vote on taking our sovereignty for the next epidemic or pandemic, as they would call it, of taking full control of what we're supposed to do, who's being vaccinated, who's... uh who's likely to suffer, whatever the fuck they got plans for. So this is what brings me back to today. There was a, um, I'm going to do another video on it, but these are all the distractions that they was had us in um, into play. So they caused another distraction today. The other distraction today was the Buffalo shooting. Yes, Buffalo had a mass shooting at a Topps grocery store. Um, people are doing the videos on them. It was... I thought it was, um, they said eight people was, um, injured. Then it went from eight people being injured to eight people dying to 10 people dying and three wounded. It was crazy because, um, it seemed like it was a black neighborhood in Buffalo. Buffalo got his little hood spots too. So it was a lot of black folks waiting there and trying to see who was there. But they said the guy walked in there with fatigues and all that shit. It's crazy. But this is another mass shooting for distraction. The distractions are the pro, the, the abortion shit that's going on. If you want to get an abortion, you get an abortion, bitch. If you don't want to have an abortion, you don't have an abortion. Who cares? Like, have the baby, don't have the baby. 
why are we conflicting against that now? First, it was the left versus the right, MAGA versus Biden. Um, now it's 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 they're trying to divide us with the abortion shit. I've seen people today. I was in the city walking with their pro abortion stuff. That's not the big deal, bitch. If you want to go to the chop shop, go to the chop shop. We don't people don't you shouldn't have to care about something like that. If you want to keep the baby, keep the baby. Why is this some type of fucking why are we fighting back and forth with each other about this shit again? It's your choice to have the child or not. You females do it all the time. My body, my choice, but whatever. These are the distractions that they're causing to make us not see the real situation that's coming in hand. I can't even joke about this because this is fucking real. And they're going to vote on full control of the world, 194 countries. Now, this is maybe why Russia's um, being rebellious back because they're not trying to be, they wasn't part of NATO. They don't, they don't have, um, they're not part of the sovereignty nation because they don't take orders from the CDC or the motherfucking um, World Health Organization. Um, they came and go as they please in, in Russia. I didn't see any videos on them forcing vaccination on any people and stuff like that. I heard of, I seen lockdowns, but it wasn't no forced vaccinations and things in that nature. Um, the crazy part about it, they're going to keep pushing these distractions. They're going to vote on this. This is one step closer to microchipping motherfuckers. This is one step closer. You don't hear anything about Israel and their passports no more. They, they, uh, health passports. They stopped all that shit. Every, it's hard traveling. Like in the United States, if you want to come back into the States, you have to take a COVID test. Certain States and countries don't do it anymore because they're not following the rules of the, um, don't, they don't feel like they should be following the rules of WHO or the fucking CDC anymore because none of the, none of the data made sense of what was happening. Recovery rates are high. Why are we still making people vaccinate over something that you don't have to really quarantine? They try to make it seem like it was the movie Contagion, but it really wasn't. Niggas was not bleeding from their eyes. It wasn't Ebola that their livers was dropping right there. And it was bleeding from the eyes with sores on it. It's, it wasn't serious to that point. But the World Health Organization is about to take away all our rights on all of all countries' rights on how to handle a pandemic. And they can actually sanction shutdowns for every government that's around the world. It's crazy, man. But keep yourself woke, understand the bullshit, and hopefully you understand the WHO, the World Health Organization. Too many distractions. You got little key just passed away. I'm gonna do a video on that shit. He was a rapper under YSL. They might have sacrificed the nigga so they get out of jail. Gunners, Gunners not getting bond. Um, there's claims that they're going after little baby in 4PF. 4PF gang in Atlanta. The Rico shit is crazy. They locking niggas back up. Niggas had a good two years of fucking fun running, but it's over, B. Stay diligent. Do what you need to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what else you find out. Uh, hit my email up, predictsandascension at gmail.com. Um, just sh show the channel some love um, and sh try to stay woke through all this bullshit, man. Predictsandascension podcast. Hate me and love me. There's no in between. Stay woke, bro.